Near Hamburg, Germany, General Sir Bernard Montgomery receives German surrender offers from General Admiral Hans von Friedeberg affecting northern Germany and Denmark. The Germans, as always, seek to divide the Allies, offering surrender of three armies to Britain and America, but not to Russia. Curtly refused by Montgomery, they have one alternative, the unconditional surrender of all their northern forces. Among themselves, the Germans discuss the unyielding Allied terms before returning to their own lines. 25 hours later, they return. These historic pictures record their unconditional surrender of one million German troops. Von Friedeberg signs the instrument of surrender, followed by German General Kinzel. signs. Fighting is now ended in northern Germany and Denmark. Two days later, Colonel General Alfred Jodl, Nazi chief of staff, arrives at General Eisenhower's schoolhouse headquarters in Reims, France, to surrender all remaining German forces to the Allies. General Walter Bedell Smith, Eisenhower's chief of staff, gives the Germans the surrender terms. They are unconditional, like those of Alexander in Italy and Montgomery in North Germany. General Jodl, with Admiral Friedeberg at his left and Major General Willem Oxenius right, signs the surrender document. General Ivan Suslaparov represents the Red Army. The delegates of the four powers, Russia, Britain, France, and the United States, now sign. General Yodel represents Admiral Dönitz, who assumed control after the fall of Berlin. After conditional surrender offers, flatly rejected, the Germans had negotiated with General Smith for 33 hours. And now, in the early morning of the 7th of May, the war in Europe is over. General Jodl speaks Nazi Germany's last words. He delivers Germany's armies to the victorious Allies. The Allied delegates listen in silence. The war in Europe ends as Roosevelt, Churchill, and Stalin had promised at Tehran and Yalta in smashing defeat and unconditional surrender. General Eisenhower received the historic surrender pens. This is the glorious hour. The war against Germany is won. To all the forces of the United Nations, a thankful world says, well done.